Good evening and welcome to December 16th and our study of Advent. Um, tonight is, today, is one of my favorite uh, series of verses because it's about um, uh, the birth of Jesus. Um, it's the book of Matthew, verses 18 through 25. And it's, it's kind of neat because uh, December 18th is coming up and it kind of follows uh, the days before his, his birth. Uh, the birth of Jesus Christ. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Um, I just love every day in December. It's definitely my favorite month. Um, just feel happy. Uh, today, um, I had been thinking about this last week. Today, uh, earlier today, my act of service uh, was this. Um, I work in an office building in downtown Austin, and every morning on my way in, I, on this one corner, I see an older man in a wheelchair with um, bags hanging all over his wheelchair. And I'm, I'm not sure, but I think he's homeless. And, um, and then at the end of the day, when I leave, I see him uh, um, on, the, on an opposite corner with the flow of traffic going towards the freeway. And um, I realized about a week ago that I, uh, that I do see him. I don't wave at him. He's not waving at people, but he, he is at that corner and, um, and he sits there and just seems to watch people. And, and right across the street, uh, there's a Starbucks. And I, I never go over there. I used to, but I haven't been there in a long time. And so when I was thinking about acts of service over this past week, I had thought uh, yesterday or today that I would do this. And I, I did this earlier today, and it uh, felt very joyful. I, um, I offered to get some coffee for some colleagues at work uh, just to celebrate Christmas. It was just a little gift to them. And when I went downstairs, I went to the corner uh, to find him, and he wasn't at the one morning corner, so I went to the other one, and I asked him if he would like something from Starbucks. And he said, uh, yes. And I asked him what he would like, and he said, uh, caramel coffee, and he said, here, could you bring back the change? And I was fully prepared. I wanted to give him um, a treat, but he pulled out a 20 and um, asked me to bring him change back. And I, and I, I think he's in his uh, late 70s, 80s. And uh, he pulled out the 20 and asked me to bring him change. And I told him again that I wanted to get it for him. And he said, no, thank you, but uh, just bring me the change. And so one of the things I've learned from my father 
who was homeless for a number of years, um, was to honor, to honor what somebody's saying. Um, and it was probably enough. And I was also praying about it at the same time. Uh, it was enough for me just to offer and then to go get it and bring it to him. And so I uh, took his 20 and I walked across the street and uh, they wouldn't let me get just, because uh, I wanted to get it for him, but I ended up, uh, they couldn't just change a 20. Uh, they had to use that to buy his drink. And they only charged me 90 cents for like a medium sized caramel latte. And so I, uh, I don't know why I told them I was buying it for this man who was on the corner. And so, uh, and he's been there as long as I can remember, at least like for a year, maybe more. And so I took it back over and I gave it to him and his change. And I asked him what his name was. And then uh, we exchanged names. And he asked me if I worked in the building. And uh, I told him yes. And he said, you must see me when you drive by. And I said, I sure do. And then um, I wished him a Merry Christmas. And uh, it was, and I should have said in hindsight, uh, something about baby Jesus or God, um, but I didn't. But it was, uh, it was really fun. And, um, and I didn't see him when I left today because it, when it's been getting darker, he leaves. But uh, it was nice to know his name now. And so if I do walk by, I can, I can say hi to him. Have a great evening and hope you're enjoying Advent. Good night.